In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a form. From your main dashboard, choose your settings icon in the top right corner and click on HR settings. Choose forms and this will give you a, a quick overview of forms you, templates that you already have. Um, but we're going to click on the green cross over here and we're going to create a new one. So for this purpose, I'm just going to call our new form onboarding form. Okay, oops. And submit to create. This will open up your summary page. Um, for the purpose of trying to keep the videos short, there is quite a few uh, functionalities here in the summary page, whether you want headers and footers, whether you want to issue the form. Um, and things like that. So I'm going to separate these and put that in another video called in-depth form template overview if you want to check that out. For the purpose of this video though, we are going to simply create a form. So if you click edit at the top and again the green cross over here and you can start with your question names of how you want. Um, so I'm actually going to put a heading on this one and you can hit submit. Okay, then we, from your options, we're going to click select heading, green cross to save, and this can simply be onboarding form again, or if you want to choose to name it something else. Sizes of your heading can vary. I'm just going to choose the largest just to show you, um, and I'm going to center it, green tick to save everything, and I'm going to choose blue as a color, okay, just to save that. Close out of that and that will give you your first one. Click again on the green cross for your next question. So I'm just going to show you a shortcut here. So this one I'm just going to do say shirt size. I want to add multiple questions. So if you click this box and hit submit, you can then completely go through all the questions if you already know what you want to do. Um, and then um, driver behavior. Oops. Oh, made a mess of that one. <laughs> and signature and date. And these will make a little bit more sense as we populate it. So click just, if you finished your questions, just click on the background. Okay, so we've already got our heading. So our shirt size, we're going to go in and we're going to create this question. So um, where you uh, obviously might be an employer that supplies the shirt size and the shoe size, you're collecting this information from your employer, uh, sorry, your employee. So this one, we're going to um, check box pick one. Okay. And just an explanation, don't have to, but if you wish to type that in, okay. It's required because we need an answer. We need to know there's um, shirt size. So you can simply tab through to create these as you go as well. And that will do just for this example. And then we save those, okay. And then because we've already created our next one, we can actually go through and straight to our next question. So this one, uh, we might do a drop down select just so I can show you a different option. Um, I'm going to leave the explainer, explainer out for this one. We want to click required on this one as well. And for this one, we might just start at say size six, seven, Okay, and we're going to save that one as well. Um, the correct answer pops up down here. That's really good if you're doing something like surveys or questions where you have multiple choice. Obviously, we don't have a correct answer because we're asking them for their shoe size. So we just leave that blank. Go on to our next one. Now, driver behavior. Um, so for this one, there's different options here as well. These are really good for creating content. So if you've got policies, um, or contracts and things that you want to create. So for this one, there's a content section. So if you choose this one, it's simply sort of like, you know, no more than a paragraph you would type in here. Um, but I'm actually going to choose large content or contracts. 
and what will happen is it's going to open up this box over here so I've actually um, you can copy and paste or you can create from scratch but I've actually um, copied a diff, um, some text prior and this is simply just um, for the purpose of this example um, the employees are, uh, will be able to drive company vehicles so I've um, cut and paste a small policy okay you can actually create headings okay um, in here there is obviously it just works the same as most other and you can yep you can make that italics if you want or we can underline it as well so there's all sorts of different options here okay so just go through and obviously you've got um, unordered list which is what this one is or we can change that to an ordered list which will then number it okay um, unordered and then make sure you save that text before moving on any further okay so that's all we need to do with that is save your content and then we're going to go to our next one this is an acknowledgement so um, we're simply going to use our checkbox single on this because we want to just get the person to acknowledge that they have read um, the text will simply say I acknowledge my requirements for this policy and we want it's not conditional we want them to um, acknowledge that so we make that as a required tick box and then a signature single line text so we just want them to type their name type name to agree to the above something similar and we make that required as well and then our last one is a date so we can actually choose there's time um, date you can upload videos and um, images into these as well or you can create tables but this example we just simply want them to put a date on it um, and make that required it's already going to give you um, the date fields when you create this okay so simply click on required and get out of that and if you go into preview I'll show you how this looks so here's our heading here's our shirt size which is our um, choose one our drop down which they can choose okay here's our driver behavior policy that you scroll through I acknowledge I type my name and day month year I can finish it off with a date so at any time you can go into the preview or close out of that and go back into edit functions to change something and that is how you create forms you can duplicate um, questions or you can move up and down so you can get them to move the date or the signature so you can organize um, the um, how you want the questions or information to appear